the ritual, the drinking it, the exclusivity of it makes it very interesting to have. It drives you mad, it's addictive, and it's illegal. I mean, what's, what's not to love about something like this? I just have always wanted to have this drink which is forbidden. Absinthe first came to my attention, I guess, years ago, reading about uh, Oscar Wilde or Hemingway or any of the famous painters of the late 19th century. That's when the wonder of this strange uh, medicinal green drink became apparent. So I just always had this tremendous desire, probably because I thought you could never drink absinthe. The thought that this is like THC and the effects of cannabis or marijuana is, is very remote. The real chemistry of it, the real brain reaction, I think, is just from the ritual and the lore and the fact that it is the most alcoholic drink you can have. You have to remember that this is about an 80% alcohol drink um, and that's the strongest of any liquor. So that affects people in marked ways. Absinthe, of course, is famous. Coming from Wormwood, it's supposed to cause madness, seizures, delusions, uh, all kinds of bad things. The problem is the science of this relates back to the late 1900s, uh, and a lot of it was very poor science and, in fact, fictitious. Uh, the main component is a chemical called thugen. You have to understand that basically the brain is an organ which inhibits our activities. Uh, it keeps everything under control. To, to understand this, if you have a brain lesion, you become spastic, you suddenly can't control your movements, you have seizures, you have all these suddenly explosive kind of reactions, which is what this drink is supposed to cause. And what it does is it acts on the receptors, on the synapses, it blocks the normal brain inhibitors from working and it just releases your brain, so to speak. And that's what causes the extra intellectual stimulation, the extra artistic ability, also the reported seizures, uh, etc., and madness. The amount of thujone in this glass is really non-existent. It's only when it's very poorly made that it contains thujone. You basically Using a special glass like this, pour out a small portion. The general recommendation is to use a special perforated spoon, put a cube of sugar, and gently, over approximately 10 to 20 minutes, slowly drip ice cold water over the sugar cube, let it dissolve, it mixes with the green, pure green absinthe. It turns it cloudy because the water is insoluble uh, in the uh, absinthe. And then after you have the dilution, you can actually add ice. You can drink it as it is. It has to be diluted to drink it. It's much too strong, except for a very rare person, to drink it undiluted. I don't think it's going to be any different having four glasses of this, which I don't think I will have, as compared to having four glasses of scotch, which I usually don't have. But um, the enjoyment is in the tradition and in the lore, really, and in the fact that it's illegal and has always has been unavailable for a hundred years in this country. So that's, I think, where the enjoyment will come from, and it's. It's green, and it does exactly what it's supposed to do when you mix it. Two glasses will make you feel pretty tipsy, um, but 
Madness has not taken over at this point in time. Um, we shall see. <laughs>